Hey everyone, welcome back to Effect For You channel. Today, we are going to create urban fashion slideshow like this. So let's get started. First create a new comp. I call this main comp. Now create a new solid layer. And search fill effect. And change fill color. Now create a new comp. 900 by 1080. I call this placeholder 1. Drag your image into the timeline and resize according to the comp. Now create one more composition. This is our background placeholder 1. Drag placeholder 1 comp into the background placeholder comp. Then go to main comp and drag BG placeholder comp into the timeline. Turn on 3D icon, and move the layer back side of the comp. And resize it little bit. Now apply tint effect. Also change layer opacity around 20%. Now create a new comp. This is our media 1 comp. Now drag placeholder 1 comp into the timeline. Now go to project window and duplicate the placeholder 1 comp. And rename it. I call this placeholder 1A. Now drag 1A placeholder into the timeline and move one and half seconds forward. Also trim the placeholder one from back side. Then go to five to six frame forward. And trim one a placeholder from back side. Then again go to project window and duplicate placeholder and rename it. And drag into the timer line. Move this layer end of second layer. And trim 5 frame forward. Similarly again duplicate the layer, rename it, and drag into the timer line, and move end of third layer. Now open all placeholders and replace your images. You can also add any video file here. I am skipping this part so that you don't have to wait. After replace our footage, here you can see. Perfect. Now go to main comp and drag me do one comp into the timer line. Cool. Now select me do one layer, then select rectangle tool. Double click on rectangle tool to create perfect mask. Now we need to animate the mask. So select left sides both masking point. And move right side of the comp. And add a keyframe. Then go to few frame forward. And move both point again left side of the comp. Select both keyframes and easy ease them. Adjust your keyframes according to you. And make your graph like this. Now create a new composition. 1080 by 850. 
I call this media 2. Then again create a new comp. This is our placeholder 2 comp. Now drag your image into the placeholder 2 comp. Resize according to the comp. Now go to media 2 comp. And drag placeholder 2 into the timer line. Go to 1 and half seconds forward and trim the layer. Now go to project window and duplicate placeholder 2 and rename it as a placeholder 2A and drag the layer into the timer line and move layer end of the first layer open placeholder and change your image trim the placeholder 2A layer 5 frame forward similarly do all processes we have done with media 1 comp I am skipping this part so that you don't have to wait. After all just all placeholders our comp look like this. Now go to main comp and duplicate media 1 comp. Then go to project window, hold alt key and drag media 2 comp into the timer line. Now move the layer back side of the comp. Now select rectangle tool, and create a shape like this. Change opacity 20%. Duplicate the layer and move top side of the comp. Select both layers and turn on 3D icon. Now create a new comp, 1300 by 800 pixels. I call this text 1. Select text tool and type your text. Here I have delay expression, so copy the expression. Open text layer, go to animate and add position and opacity. Opacity 0% and Y position 50. Now add expression selector. Open expression selector, hold Alt key and click on a mount icon and paste delay expression here. Now duplicate text layer and change your text. Again duplicate text layer and change your text. Now open text layer and add opacity. Go to around 1 second forward. Open range selector. And add a keyframe on end. And change end amount 0%. Then go to around 10 frame forward. And change amount 100%. Then again go to few frame forward, and change amount 40%. Then again go to few frame forward and change amount 100%. Cool. Now go to main comp and drag text 1 comp into the timer line. And adjust them. Also turn on 3D icon, and move Z position little bit front of the shape layer and resize them now go to project window and duplicate text 1 then drag text 2 comp into the timer line open text 2 comp and change your text now go to main comp and adjust text to right side of the comp. And rotate minus 90 degrees. Resize layer according to you. Perfect. Now we need to add some elements. 
so create a new comp 800 by 800 pixels. I call this X elements. Select text tool and type X alphabet. Now animate the scale amount, so go to around 1 second forward. And add a keyframe. Then go to first frame and change scale amount 0%. Select both keyframes and easy ease them, and make your graph like this. Now add time expression on rotation. Now go to main comp and drag X element into the timeline. And turn on 3D icon. Resize according to you, and adjust a little bit back side of the comp. Similarly, duplicate 2 to 3 time and adjust into the composition. You can also add some other elements. I am skipping this part so that you don't have to wait. Now create a new comp. 500 by 200 pixels. I call this dots line. Select ellipse tool and create a small circle, like this. Now open shape layer and add repeater. Open repeater. Then transform. And change X position 40. And number of copies around 10 to 12. Now animate this. So go to first frame and add a keyframe. And change copies 0. Then go to 1 seconds forward. And change copies 12. Now go to 1 frame forward and change copies 2. Then again go to 1 seconds forward and change copies 12. Now apply a loop out animation on copies. Cool. Now go to main comp and drag dots line into the timer line. And turn on 3D icon. And adjust in your composition according to you. Duplicate 2 to 3 time and adjust them. Perfect. Now create a new comp. 1080 by 1080. I call this dots. Select ellipse tool and create a small circle. Then add repeater. And increase number of copies. Change X position around 50. Now add one more repeater. X position 0. And Y position 60 pixels. And increase number of copies. Now create a black solid. And apply fractal noise effect. Fractal type turbulent basic. Noise type block. Increase contrast 200. And brightness minus 70. Complexity 1. Now animate evolution. So add a keyframe on evolution, and change rotation 200 degrees. Then go to around 8 seconds forward and change rotation cycle 2. Cool. Now go to first frame and add a keyframe on opacity, and change amount 0%, then 
then go to 1 second forward and change amount 100%. Now select Shea Player and change Track Mataluma Mat. Here you can see. Now go to Main Composition. Drag the dots comp into the timer line. Turn on 3D icon, decrease the size. And move Z position, behind the text and resize according to the text. Perfect. Now animate the composition, so create a camera, I am using 50mm preset camera, then create a null layer. Convert null as a 3D layer, and parent camera with null layer. Now go to 1 second forward, and add a keyframe on position. Then go to first frame and move position right side of the comp. Then go to 1 and half second forward, and add a keyframe. Then again go to few frame forward, and move position left side of the comp. Now create one more null layer. Parent first null layer with second null layer, turn on 3D icon. Now go to first frame and add a keyframe on position. Now go to 3 second forward, and move the X position little bit left side of the comp. You can adjust the last keyframe around 1 second forward. Here you can see, Perfect. Now select all keyframes and easy ease them. Now adjust the graph of null one layer. Now select both media layers and turn on motion blur. Now drag micro dirt footage into the timer line. And change layer mode screen. Then drag light leak footage into the timer line, and change layer mode screen. Now create an adjustment layer. And search curves effect and adjust your curves. Again create a new adjustment layer. And apply sharpen effect. Increase sharpen amount 20. Now open camera layer and increase focus distance, so our comp look more clear. Here you can see. And also move the text layers few frame forward. Perfect. Our animation has done, hit zero for ender. Thanks for watching, I hope you like the video, so please, like it, share it, and subscribe to the channel, for more tutorial I'll see you in the next video.